Hi guys, in today's video we are going to be discussing as to whether Plants vs Zombies 3 should return to a 2D art style. With the recent news of the soft launch being taken down some time next month, and PopCap stating they plan to reimagine aspects of the game, it begs the question whether the 3D art style is going to be something they want to address, particularly as this has been a big issue for many fans. As usual, just before we begin, remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy the content on this channel and want to help it grow. Anyway, let's get started. So before we dive into this, I just want to mention that in my opinion, if Plants vs Zombies 3 were to have a complete visual makeover, and that was the only thing PopCap decided to change, it wouldn't necessarily make the game any better than it is in its current state. What I'm trying to say is no matter how pretty a game is, if the core mechanics and gameplay of a game are not fun or interesting, it's not going to create for a great experience, as at the end of the day, video games are a source of entertainment. However, I wanted to discuss this topic today, as the current 3D style of Plants vs Zombies 3 has faced a lot of scrutiny and backlash throughout this soft launch period, and perhaps to accommodate both new and returning fans, a style that is similar to the other two games in the OG series could satisfy both demographics. Now to help me to discuss the potential of Plants vs Zombies 3 changing its art style, we are going to be revisiting some leaked concept art for the game that surfaced back in 2016. So I had only found out about these leaked images when I came to do this video, but basically a number of various pieces of Plants vs Zombies 3 concept art were found online on a website belonging to the concept artist Jason T. Brown. Now of course at the time this was big news and there was huge speculation around it, however as well as some imagery that looked rather similar to what we have in PVC currently, there were also many pieces that were drawn in a more modern and cartoony style, but were still in the 2D aesthetic we know and love. This includes character concepts, battlefields and other visual assets. Now I'm only going to pick out the most interesting pieces here, however if you would like to see the whole collection, I have put a link to the website in the description. Anyway, the first pieces of concept art I want to draw your attention to are these iterations of Dave's Backyard, which explore 2D, 2.5D and 3D. So a couple of things here I really want to mention, but just bear in mind these are illustrations not in-game renders. So as you can tell immediately, this really does feel like the old style, but we have a lot more detail, the shadow quality is a lot higher, the colours seem to pop a lot more, and we actually see a lot more in the scene. The world feels bigger and has a lot more depth to it. Admittedly, I think the 2.5D version looks a bit more worked up and polished, but if I saw either of these, I think I would have been satisfied. The art style has been modernised, but still feels like it's cut from the same cloth as previous titles. Even when we look at the 3D concept, it still feels like the OG art style. I mean, I'm not completely sold on how the plants look here, but I think the zombies look great. Now we'll go on and have a look at some character concepts. So here we have Pea Shooter, Sunflower, a zombie, as well as this tree character. And as you can see, this is the type of thing I was talking about in my previous video. These characters are drawn in the 2D style, but they have a new coat of paint. As with everything we've seen so far, the lighting is improved and we have a lot more detail, particularly on the zombie. Now, I love the PVZ original style, but this is the art direction I think Plants vs Zombies 3 could have gone down, using what they already had, but modernizing and refreshing the designs. As well as this, I think something that could be changed or improved from the OG style is the use of animations. With advancements in tech, I think it would really allow them to get really creative with expressive animations. I think this cactus concept art really shows you what could be done. The middle one could be the default pose, the one on the left could be an idle or getting bored animation, maybe this would be if no zombies had been in a lane for a while, and then the one on the right would be for when the zombies get really close and start chomping on the plant. I feel these animations would add lots of humour and add more personality to the plant characters. Now, of course, in retrospect, it was clearly the 3D style they decided to opt for. However, this does show at some point at least one or some of the ideas did revolve around using the old style, but with a few enhancements and utilizing the new technology to improve the look and feel of the characters, enhance the detail and depth of the battlefields, as well as load more zombies into the world. Overall, I have to say as much as I love the 2D over the 3D style, and despite a lot of fans disapproving of the new look, I think out of all of the aspects they plan to reimagine, the art style is probably the one that is least likely to change. A, because of what I said at the start of this video, that a good art style doesn't necessarily make a good game, and B, because of the costs and time involved recreating a new visual style, when time would be better spent improving other areas of the game that have affected the gameplay. But nevertheless, I think like I have discussed 
discussed about Battle for Neighborville in previous videos, it feels like the devs have been innovating for innovating sake in these recent titles and walking the fine line of changing too much too quickly. I think the original art style does resonate a certain charm and goofiness I love and I think for a lot of people it's the nostalgia of that style they enjoy so much. I think therefore I would like to see a happy medium, something similar we have seen in these concept art pieces, keep the 2D style from the older games but give things a sharper modern look and using the advancements in game tech to take what the community already loves to the next level. But of course this is just my opinion, game art styles are subjective and I know there are a number of you guys who really do enjoy the current pvz3 style and that's awesome this video hasn't been me saying the 3d style is bad and if you think it's good you are wrong i love hearing other people's opinions and i respect those opinions too i do think however from what i have seen in my comment section and in other places overall the majority of the community preferred the 2d style which is what prompted me to do this video anyway guys that's about it for today's video i hope you enjoyed let me know what you think of this in the comments below but other than that remember to subscribe and i shall see you in the next one. Okay, thanks guys. Bye. Bye.